Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be painting on a mold number two stone from the Happy Dotting Company. There is a link in the description below if you're interested in getting your own molds, uh, as well as I use UltraCal 30, um, which is like a um, gypsum powder, but it's very dense. So it has the weight of a rock so that's why I like to use it it is a bit pricey but it's worth it in the end and it does go a long long way so we started off by painting the whole rock white and I do that so that it seals the rock and um, I let that dry usually I prime them all after they have sat for about a week uh, to dry out and then I paint them all and then they're all sealed ready to go for whatever I want to do. So um, I use deco art white for that. Then I drew a circle with using my um, my compass there and my charcoal pencil, um, the gray color of the general's charcoal pencil. And then I painted on some uh, emerald green which is made by Delta and I spread it that all around spread it is that a word spread probably just spread there's no ed at the end of that <laughs> I'm sorry folks it's been a long week um, so then uh, I do uh, some blending and I'm using the Americana pistachio mint and I blend that uh, all in so I have a nice light color in the center working out to a darker color but the emerald green itself has disappeared so I don't have a solid color of the emerald green it's all been blended in so then I go around it with um, deco art black paint uh, just to encase that circle and I paint the sides and I paint the back as well but I don't show you that because it's just you know slapping on some paint so what I'm doing today is something that I promised in 2022 that I would do um, another one of my hang on frogs. So that's what this one is. Now this one's completely different. Um, I've done a tree frog. I've done a hanging frog uh, that I didn't show a tutorial for, but um, I did show when I did my tree frog and it was requested by uh, one of you folks that you wanted to see me do this because um, it was how you were feeling is you're just hanging on and so I, I wanted to give the inspiration of regardless of what you're going through um, as long as you're hanging on um, it could be with only a thread it could be a whole branch just hang on there be strong you'll get through this and um, just surround yourself with love and with people who understand and care and I'll guarantee you'll get through it. I know I've been through so much of on my own um, that if I didn't have the network of friends and family that I do have, I wouldn't be surviving today and being able to bring you these tutorials. So trust me when I say surround yourself with people you love and that will give you the support that you need. So back to the painting. I've paint, painted on a brush and what I used to begin with was coffee bean uh, made by Folk Art. I use this as the darkest color. I always start with the dark color and move on to the lighter colors. So I use the coffee bean and then uh, while that was still wet, I put on some light foil, foilage green and that's made by Delta and now I'm putting on some sunflower made by folk art and it's just to give the difference of lights and darks um, and for the shadows and for where the light source is coming from and shining onto the branch so that's all I do is I just blend it all together very sloppy really uh, to give it some really nice uh, look to it um, and I will admit that this was a different type of frog so my other hanging frog that I have done 
had both legs, both hind legs, hanging onto the branch above. This one I wanted to do only one leg. So he's like barely hanging on, but he's doing it. And so it was a little bit difficult and his leg actually went off the painting. You'll see that when I get to that part, but it actually looks so much better that way than having to see his entire foot hanging down because it gives that illusion that you don't know what's underneath them. He could be like maybe a, a couple of centimeters away from the water below and he's just doing this to get higher so he can catch a fly or maybe he's like really high up and he's uh, holding on because maybe there's a predator after him and this was the only way he could get away from him. He, he, we don't know um, but I must say that I had a lot of fun painting this guy so now what I'm doing is uh, I'm using that sunflower color again by Folk Art and I am blending it in uh, because that's going to be like his belly part and the underside of his legs and that sort of thing before I come in with the other green um, to give the definitions of the top and bottom of the frog. Uh, so I just use one of my homemade fine or er, uh, blending brushes and I just go in and I dab in the paint as much as I can um, and trying to get it as close to that branch as I can. So once that is done and I let it dry, I'm moving on to a different part of the frog. So I'm not messing up too much of what I had already done. And I'm now going in and doing the top part with a darker green. Now this one is again the light foliage green from Delta Art or sorry Delta Paints and um, I'm just doing uh, like the top of his head, uh, the top of his mouth, his hands, his feet um, and his eyes. I will be doing a little bit on the outside of his body as well just so that it gives that definition that he's a 3D frog and um, there are more parts to him than just his belly. I struggled with his feet quite a bit in this painting. Uh, I went over and I did them over and over again and you'll probably see that as we go along in the video here that um, sometimes they look one way and the next time you see them they're a different way and it's only because I was struggling with them so much that I kept trying to do stuff over and over and over again. So I think in the end they worked out really well and uh, he's actually really cute when he's finished. Now what I'm doing here is I'm doing some outlining. Now this paint doesn't stay. Um, it's actually a little bit of the brown mixed in with the uh, yellow. So that's the coffee bean color mixed in with some of the sunflower yellow both are made by folk art and I just use that as sort of like a guideline um, I do eventually cover that up but I really wanted to know like where his legs were and just to get them in proportion so as I continue to uh, fiddle away with all of this um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to tell you guys that my Etsy, Etsy shop is now up and running again. So I do apologize that um, I had it shut down for a little while there. Um, there was so much inventory. I was doing so many uh, craft shows and things were disappearing off of my inventory that was on Etsy. Anyways, long story short, it's all back up and running again. I've got some stuff put in there. I'm going to be putting in some of my Mad River Rocks in February so watch for those um, but yeah I'm really excited it's back up and uh, ready for your viewing and to be passed on to your friends and family that may want something that's really interesting and different as a, a unique one-of-a-kind art be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and ring that little bell because it'll give you a notification every time I post something new. The more likes, subscribes, and comments that I receive on my tutorials will give me a better algorithm so that I will be noticed by more people. So that's the goal. I want to reach as many people as I can. So if you could help me out just by hitting that thumbs up or the subscribe, 
or ring the bell, leave me a comment, all that good stuff, it'll help me out. Okay, so you may have noticed now that the frog has some, we'll call them eye sockets because his eyes aren't actually in there yet, but that's the bumps that I'm gonna be using for doing his eye. And I just used a dotting tool to do that. Um, and then I started using some of the um, darker green um, and that would have been, I think it was the light foliage green and I mixed a little bit of black in there uh, just to darken it up. Um, so I did that and that's now, you'll see like all of that uh, brown color that I used for the outline is now being covered up by this darker green color that I'm using to outline. So you can see as well his hands and his one foot that is on the branch is they're horrendous. I, like, I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to, to do something and it wasn't working and I just kept trying to do more of the same thing and I eventually just painted them all in because it just, it was getting very frustrating for me and trying to um, sort of make him have like little suction cups on the bottoms of his toes and yeah, it just, it didn't work out. So you'll see, I will change all of that as I go along. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm just adding some light sources and I'm just using that Americana uh, Pistachio Mint um, as the light source or to give that illusion of light source onto his skin. And I do that in just certain areas. Um, and now I'm going to uh, do some more on his eyes because that dark green color is now uh, dried enough so that I can put these on. And again, it's just that uh, sunflower color uh, from Folk Art that I'm using on there. And speaking of frog's skin, so here is your piece of useless information for this tutorial. A frog drinks water through their skin. So not through their mouth like we would think, um, it's through their skin, which is really kind of neat. Um, frogs are carnivores. So inside their mouth, they have this tongue that comes whipping out when there's a fly or a bug that's nearby that they want to eat. And this tongue flings out and it's very, very sticky. So as soon as it hits, it curls back up into its mouth. And then that's where they um, eat their, their dinner. But to drink water, they have to be in the water. So it's absorbed through their skin. So there you go. There's some uh, useless information about frogs. So now you'll notice that um, our frog now has some pupils. And I made his toes much bigger. And I like them so much better this way. And now I'm putting on that light source again, being the pistachio mint made by Americana. All these colors will be listed in the description below. So the brand names and the color names uh, that I used in this tutorial, but I did make a promise that I was going to uh, try to mention them as much as possible while I was using them. Um, and I, I'm actually liking it because it gives it more identity, I guess, by instead of just saying, oh, I'm using green or I'm using yellow, uh, by giving the actual color names, it, it just makes it a little bit more real. For me, anyways, I don't know about you. Um, I'd be really curious to know of any kind of facts that you may know about frogs. Um, I know there's so many different species and there's so many things out there. Um, for amphibians and things like that. But I would be very curious to know what you know about frogs. So leave me a comment below um, and let me know because uh, I'm curious. I have a very curious nature and I'm always looking up useless facts about things. So I'm full of it. <laughs> well, I'm full of the useless facts. All right, folks, we're near the end here. Um, we just got to do some finishing touches here and to make it look really pretty. Um, as always, uh, with almost every rock that I paint, I do an outline of gold paint. I find that it just helps bring the viewer's eye into the center of the piece and really makes them focus on what you want them to focus on. 
but I don't always like to leave it just black. I, I have to put dots on there. I'm all about like glitter, uh, metallic paints, bling bling, and dots. So we're going to do some dots here. So I didn't use uh, the stencil from the Happy Dotting Company. Instead, I used my eye. And I did south to north. Then I did east to west, or I guess west to east. And then I put a dot in the middle. And I would use my tool to draw an invisible line to line them up. And then I just dotted in between. And it worked. So I used the emerald green for the bigger dots. And then for the smaller dots, I used the pistachio mint green. So once this is dry, I can give it a coat of resin and it's finished. So there you have it, folks. Life is what you make it. So get creative.